Hi guys, and welcome to another HitFilm 4 Express tutorial video. Today, we're going over how to do screen replacement in HitFilm 4 Express. So this tutorial was actually requested by a friend, and because he is not the brightest nor the most intelligent individual, we're going to be rating this tutorial 2 out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So let's get right into the tutorial. As you can see here, I'm in a composite shot. If you don't know how to get into a composite shot, it's quite simple. In the editor, simply right click on your footage and press make composite shot, which will appear here. Then I've simply dragged some clips over one another. The first clip is the image of the computer screen with nothing on it. The second I've got is with a placeholder image. And this is not actually going to be used for the final product, but it's just very good for reference. And the third is the image that I want to actually put onto the screen. So let's go ahead and start this screen replacement. You're going to want to go into your effects panel and under warp you're going to want to search for quad warp. Just drag it onto the video that you want to warp into place. I'm just going to scale the video down a bit and then in quad warp you can simply drag on these areas here and you can just drag them to the corners of the screen. It will automatically warp the entire image to make it look as though it's on that plane. And this is why it's very useful to have this placeholder image you can see, because without it there's a bezier around the actual screen, and it won't look realistic. And that is the basics of it. You can leave it just like this if you want, and it looks actually half decent. But there's a few things you can do to make it look even better. The next step is to adjust the brightness and the contrast of this clip. Because if we hide it we can see that this is actually quite contrasted with some quite bright light being blown out here. So we're just going to go and search up for the crush blacks and whites effect. And then just drag it onto our video. Once you've got your crush blacks and whites effect, just make sure to crush the whites a bit, or if you have a darker screen, then crush the blacks a bit. It's already looking better, but we're missing out on one thing, and that's the reflections. As I said before, this video here, with the screen on, it's just a placeholder and it's just for reference, so we can go ahead and actually delete that now. And if we need to, we can adjust the quad warp even more, but I think we're fine on that. The thing we want to do now is to do the reflections, because as you can see here, we've got a bunch of reflections on this black screen, and we need them to show up in our final image too. So to do this, all you have to do is duplicate your background layer by pressing Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. Then drag it up above your video layer, and in the layer properties, set the blend mode to be lighten. And that's it. Now you've got your reflections in as well. I should explain what the light and blend mode does, is that wherever there's a pixel in this layer, that is brighter than the pixels in the layers below it, then it'll show those. But if there's something that's the same or darker then, it won't show it. This is very useful because, as you can see here, it shows up the reflections in all of these dark bits, and it makes it look much more realistic. It also shows through these much harsher reflections bleeding out onto the top of the video. And that's your completed final effect. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you use this screen replacement effect to great use, and I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.